In today's video of value in my toy collection, we're gonna value some of the stuff on top of our Simpson display and a lot of miscellaneous toys. Hey everyone, my name's Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I love even more. My dream in life has always been to own a toy museum. So it's finally happened. I've bought a building, and now I've got to move this massive collection and value it into the building. We're calling it the Toy Vault because it's an old bank building located in Crystal Springs, Mississippi, that actually has two large vaults. So now I'm just going to make a ton of videos and value my toy collection and then I'm going to make some where I take you shopping with me to thrift stores and flea markets and toy stores to let you see where I find all these goodies. So let's start this episode of value in my toy collection and value some toys. Today's video we're going to make it quick and just value some miscellaneous toys. Some of the stuff on top of our Simpson display because you see it's starting to bow our display. I've got to get that stuff off and get it packed up for the toy museum. I'll value everything but the Smurfs today. So starting out we have this really cool set of the Wizard of Oz chairs. And they're very collectible, they're super hard to find, and I think they're worth at least $200 for the set of the four. Actually, they're painted on the front and the back. They're really nice. My friend Melissa got these at an estate sale for me. Next up, we have this Melissa and Doug unicorn plush. It's really nice, and I actually saw this on a trip to Los Angeles, and I knew I couldn't get it home in my suitcase, so I had to find one on eBay when it was over. It's worth about $75. And when I was searching for it, I found the Pegasus, so I had to have it too, and it's worth about $90, but those are really, really cool. I sure do hope I have room for all this in my toy museum. Next up, we have some full house dolls. First, we have Danny and his family, and this set's worth about $80, even though it goes all the way up to over $100 on eBay, but I think about $80 is fair. And then we have Jesse and his family. Now, he is worth $100 because he goes all the way up to like $150, like to $300 on eBay, so about $100 is really fair. You see, he was on sale for $7.99 at one point. Newer version of the Full House dolls is worth about $35. And then this vintage Uncle Jesse doll in the box is worth about $50. And then next up we have Michelle as a baby doll and she's worth about $60. This was Mary Kate and Ashley that took turns playing Michelle in the TV series. And then on the back of the box, I really like the graphics as it had pictures of all the different celebrities on the TV show. Now next up we have this really cool Friends Golden Book and it's worth about $8. And then we have this Schitt's Creek Little People set worth about $40. I love how they put the cartoon version of them on the back. I love how little people have started making different TV series sets. We have this Peanuts Christmas set worth about $30 still in the box. And then brand new we have a Saved by the Bell Little People set that's worth about $40 with all the main characters in it. And then of course on the back, they also have the really cool graphics of like the cartoon versions of the little people figures. It's so smart. Then you have this cool little wooden roadster car that's worth about $75. I got on HGTV's Endless Yard Sale competition when we were on that game show. Now next up, we have this set of Spanish dolls at the top of that shelf. So I'm gonna bring these down so I can kind of film these and see what all we have here. All right, we'll start out with this small set of dancers. They're worth about $12 for this set. I don't know when I started collecting these, but I love them. Every time I see one, I just have to pick them up. The next up, we have a set of dancers in the blue and in the black outfit, and these are really large, and they're worth about $40 for this set of two. And this is the largest one I have in the set. She's in the yellow dress and she's worth about $25. She's spectacular. I really like her. All right, next up we have this smaller one in a green satin dress and she's worth about $15. And then we have this really tall set. I got this set at an auction 
they're worth about $40 and it's the first set I ever bought. I saw them on a shelf and I asked the auctioneer to bring them down because I wanted them so bad and they started the bidding at $40. Now next up we have this large pink one. She's worth about $25 just because her dress is so nice and detailed. Now this one is not actually a Spanish doll I found out. This is a Bob Mackie Marissa doll from 1992. She's missing her earrings so she's only worth about $30. And then we have another red Spanish doll, and this one's worth about $20. And then we have this Mexico souvenir doll, and she's worth about $10 from Cozumel. And then we have another little souvenir doll from Monaco, and she's worth about $8. Then we have this really cool vintage Spanish doll in the ruffle dress, the blue one. She's worth about $15. And this small little red one is also worth about $15. And then this vintage pink one, again, worth about $15. And this little vintage souvenir doll where her eyes open and close is worth about $5. And the little wooden one's worth about $3. Then we have these vintage Spanish dolls. The one in the red is probably worth about $8. And then the pink and the yellow, they're worth about $8 each as well. And I finally got that missing Fashionista Barbie, number 221, and she's worth about $25. I found this cool shadow box full of vintage Thai Beanie Babies. It's worth about $40 for the whole set. thought that was pretty cool. We'll hang that up in the toy museum. That'll be a nice little conversation piece. And last but not least, I found my cool Easter Island Kleenex box holder worth about $20. We'll have fun with that at the desk. So with our previous 254 videos of value in my toy collection, our total was $740,900. Now with this video, of all of our miscellaneous stuff, we can add another $1,275 to our overall grand total. So that means our overall grand total for episode 255 is $742,175. Now remember, I am no millionaire. I've just been collecting toys for over 40 years, going to garage sales, flea markets, and thrift stores, and looking on eBay, and it's just accumulated to this big old total. I'm trying to see if I can get my collection valued at a million dollars. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm certainly enjoying making these videos and just seeing what all I have and seeing what it's worth. And if you want to see the toys up close, you can also see them on Facebook under the Toy Vault of Mississippi. So until the next video, we'll see you then.